Iraq's Prime Minister has ordered the arrest of Shia Muslim activists who stormed Parliament in Baghdad on Saturday. Hader al Abadi said those who caused damage and attacked police should be brought to justice. The demonstrators, supporters of Shia cleric Mokhtar Dossadar, were angered by delays in approving the new cabinet. They have been camping outside Parliament but organizers have called on them to leave. The protesters accuse the government of neglecting much-needed reforms, as it struggles with its campaign against the so-called Islamic State group and declining oil revenues. Is the Sunni Muslim group that controls parts of western and northern Iraq? Claim the twin suicide bombing on Sunday that killed at least 33 people and wounded more than 50 in the southern town of Samoa. Fears of a Shia rift Analysis by Ahmed Mayer, BBC News, Baghdad Many Iraqis believe the crisis has unveiled deep divisions between the Shia political parties that could lead to armed confrontation between some of the Shia brigades which were formed after the collapse of large units of the Iraqi army in the summer of 2014. Leaders of these powerful Shia brigades have ordered reinforcements to Baghdad to help secure the capital along with the Iraqi army and security forces. In Parliament, some leading Shia parties have locked horns over their share in the new cabinet lineup. Many prominent Shia politicians, like former Prime Minister Nuri Maliki, are highly critical of Shia cleric-turned-politician Mokhtar Dossadar. Mr. Maliki said change could not be achieved through intimidation or the occupation of the Green Zone. Many Shia Iraqis see Mr. Sadr as a leader for their uprising. The fear of a rift between Shia factions will stoke instability in Iraq, which is already at war with Ireland. And the crisis will alarm key allies like the U.S., which count on a stable, strong government to defeat the militant group. Supporters of Mr. Sadr want MPS to push through plans to replace ministers with political affiliations with non-partisan technocrats. Powerful parties in Parliament have refused to approve the change for several weeks. We need new faces Mr. Abadai issued his arrest order after cheering the Green Zone on Saturday. The zone a highly fortified area 10 square kilometers 3.9 square miles in size, is home to key government buildings and foreign embassies. It is ringed by blast walls, some of which were toppled by the protesters as they breached the zone for the first time in weeks of civil unrest. There are no indications that any actual arrests have taken place.